Uh, what concerns me is that there is no business the government have in controlling the media. Media should self-regulate because there's enough structures to do those things. Um, why is Kenya Kwanza concerned about controlling the media? That question should be asked. In fact, touching on the election, they say democracy dies in darkness. Tell me a country where judiciary and, and the media have no freedom, and I'll show you a state that has got what's called dictatorship. Uh, you know, remember that before then, there used to be one media house called KBC, mm -hmm where if the news was to take 30 be minutes, okay. be okay, okay yes. yes. 15 minutes, if not 20, was dedicated to one person. Mm -hmm. The government the, of the day. Not even the government, one person, mm -hmm. to who fries. Mm -hmm. Then after that, then some people just be mentioned quickly in a hurry, then they leave. Everything was about today he was in Kabarak, today he was praying, then today he met so and so, then today he was uh, taking out the cows. And I think we are moving there if you're not careful. Because uh, I think that uh, William Ruto has been in the media a lot. There's, I think Uhuru was not in the media as he is. Kibaki even much less. And I think that uh, trying to control the media is one way they have discovered. Like you see, for example, news gag, the one that comes to some of the new media houses. You guys have some serious discussion here. They want to ensure they give you a script that if you follow that script, you cannot educate Kenyans because these people are not only working on civic education people are giving, like people like us who come here, but actually they're even killing the education system. Uh, people should not be informed. That's what they want. They want people to remain in darkness. But I can tell them I'm not even worried because the, uh, the emergence of digital media will actually be able to make them difficult to control. Now, nowadays, media is in somebody's phone. Mm -hmm. People can even say, Fred Media House, and they go viral. So I'm thinking that just the way they are trying to change some things in the House in Finance Act that cannot work, they're also trying to change here. But my concern is what is their intention? What is the government's intention? What, is, what, is, what do they fear the media of? And you know, we only talk about the first stage, which is the public sector. The second estate, which is the private sector, uh, the third estate, which is the NGO, and the fourth estate, which is the media. Mm -hmm. If you kill the fourth estate, it will be very difficult for things to balance out. Okay. What is 